Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Anthony Vijay. Today we are going to discuss about array concepts from C programming. When I talk about array, it is a collection of similar data type and it is a derived data type. So it can store all basic types like uh, integer, character, float, double and all. When I talk about types of an array, there are two types. One is single dimensional array. The second one is multidimensional array. In this session, I will be going to cover only single dimensional array. So I just going to explain this concept through code blocks IDE. I am going to explain this concept through one sample example. So I just to start with the header file. Hash include stdio. This is mandatory header file. Then main function we have to include. Then curly braces. Now I am going to create an array. So for that we have to mention the return type first. So I am mentioning integer here. Integer is one of the return type and we can create a variable name. So this is user defined. You can create your own name at all and one pair of square bracket you need to mention the single dimensional array and inside that we have to mention the size of an array. Here I am mentioning five. Five means you can have five elements at a time. Okay. And end with the semicolon. So this is what array declaration okay now how to initialize an array initialization means what it is like assigning values to an array so let me see that so just i am going to remove this semicolon and put equal to symbol then open a curly brace and close the curly brace inside that you can give some values totally five values you can give 10 20 30 40 50 and here also you have to end with the semicolon. So this is what array initialization. This is what array initialization. Okay. So next we are going to see about how to access an array. So before uh, going to the concept, we have to know what is indexing. Indexing means what? Indexing means there is a index value for every values. For example, for 10, the index value will be 0. Index value always starts with 0. So the starting element is 10. So the index value for 10 is 0. And for 20, it is 1. And for 30, it is 2. It will keep on increases. So I just tell you how to implement in program. So for that, I am using printf statement. So we have to mention the percentage d because this is an integer. Now I am going to use variable name. Here the variable name is a. Okay, now I'm using a square brackets. So there is an index value for every element. So I'm going to use zero here and end with a semicolon. If I mention zero in between the square bracket, the computer will give you the output as 10. It means it was pointing out the first element. See the outcome of this. I'm running the code. See the result we are getting. 10. 10 is an output. So a of 0 means 10. If I use a of 1, a of 1 means what? What is the second element? It is 20 because index value starts with 0. 0, 1, 2 likewise. Okay. So once again I build and run the code. We will get 20. See this is what second element. So this is what called as accessing. So that can be done only by indexing process. So indexing is very very important. Now I am going to explain how to use input and output statement in uh, array concept. So for here we are having an array of size 5. I am using printf statement. Within a double quotes I am typing enter 5 elements. End with semicolon. Then I am using for loop for getting 5 elements from the user. So here I am using int i equal to 0 i less than 5. So 5 five means what? This for loop will be executed for 5 number of times because we have to give 5 elements to the computer. After that, I am using scanf. So scanf statement is for getting the input from the user. So I am using percentage d, comma. I have to use ampersand. a is a variable name, a. Within a square bracket, I have to mention i. Okay. 
so i end with semicolon so this particular for loop will be executed for five number of time for the first iteration i value will be zero so we are going to give the first element to the computer it means a of zero so that will be stored in the address of a of zero then for the next iteration i will be incremented it will be one then a of that value will be stored into a of one then the iteration will be keep on incremented until the value of five once it reached five automatically the condition fails so uh, as of now uh, the particular for loop will get five elements from the user okay this is the process we are using this for loop now we are going to print the five elements okay again once again i am using for int i equal to 0 same same looping statement again i plus plus but instead of uh, scanf i am using printf now i am going to print the elements printf percentage d so before that i am mentioning a of percentage d equal to percentage d so here i am using two percentage d so first percentage d means i and second percentage d means a of i okay finally i end with the semicolon so now i'm going to run the code so uh, the computer is asking five elements from the user so we have to give five elements so first i'm giving 10 20 30 40 and finally 50 five elements i have given so we are getting answer as a of 0 is 10 and a of 1 is 20 and a of 2 is 30 so it is in same line so it is not an order so we have to do that by using one slash in okay if i use slash in here we will get the correct answer if i put slash in here we will get some formatted output see the output once again so once again uh, i am giving 10 20 30 40 50 a of 0 is 10 and a of 1 is 20 2 is 30 and 3 is 40 and 4 is 50 so this is what so keep one thing in mind so this is single dimensional array for this you need one for loop and one scanf for getting those elements and one for loop and one printf for printing those elements okay this is what if it is two dimensional array you need two for loops that's all if it is three dimensional array you need three for loops so i will explain that multi dimensional array concept in the upcoming session so right now if you are having any doubts in this single dimensional array just mention in the comment box i will clarify your doubts and if you want to take any new topics just mention that also i will cover in the upcoming session please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for regular updates Thank you very much for watching.